Oh, they got a roll on them. They're lucky it's only one nothing. Yeah. They're, they're really lucky it's only one nothing. I'll tell you what, PK, you and I, we didn't color coordinate on this one, but nope. I think you might have with our next oh. guest here. Max Pacioretty is joining us, and uh, you guys look like you uh, had a phone call before you got on the air today. Look at this. <laughs> well, Max has got to thank Katia for that outfit. I'm not giving him props for that. I know Katia probably put that together for him. Max, thanks for joining Subi, us. I like what you're wearing, brother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks, guys. Thanks for having me. Uh, before we get to, obviously, there's a lot to talk about. A lot. Uh, there's a big Montreal reunion here. I do have to ask this question, Max. Yeah. Uh, can you just tell us, give us a status on your health and recovery and when you may be rejoining the lineup? I'm feeling really good. I, uh, You know, it's uh, no surprise. A lot of people have been talking about it. I shed the uh, no-contact jersey. The last couple skates was nice to get in some practice, get up to game speed. You know, this, these guys on this team, they practice every day, uh, you know, an hour like it's a game seven, you know, Stanley Cup final. So hopefully that gets me up to speed quickly, and I'm feeling really good right now. Patch, listen, big acquisition. You go into Carolina this year. Obviously, this is a playoff contending team. They needed scoring, and they brought you in. How excited are you to get back into the lineup? And more importantly, how is Christmas with the family? How's the transition been to Carolina? <laughs> it's been great. You know, uh, as you know, like this is kind of my style here. This is my speed where uh, yeah. you mentioned the family. Family's everything for me. You know my family. You know my kids. We, uh, you know, get to sit at home and watch Christmas movies and by the fireplace and just hang out together. So uh, everything's been great here. We really like it here. Our family's been blessed to be put in a good situation. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I uh, couldn't ask for anything more in that regards. So, Patch, you and I kind of trained very similar throughout our careers. You were, you were kind of a Ben Prentice guy. I'm a Clance Layler guy. They're kind of Paul Aquin disciples. You took care of yourself. Yeah. But I saw that video of you giving the ice cream the other <laughs> night. I just want to know, how badly did you want to take a bite of that ice cream before you hand it off? Because like, that's crazy. How bad? Like, did you want to take a bite? <laughs> I can't take too much credit for that. That was uh, that was all the kids. Enzo and uh, Enzo and Max Jr. were with me in that game, and they saw that happen. They wanted to bring the kid a new ice cream, so I was like, "All right, let's go down there and do it." And uh, you know, that's something, right? Like the that you would have done. You were great at that stuff in in Montreal, and you know, I probably learned something like that from you. I probably didn't do enough of it in my time in uh, in previous places, but you know, anytime you can make. Someone smile and do something great like that. It's uh, it's it's a good feeling. Now that I have kids of my own, it hits home a little bit harder. Uh, that, that's awesome, Max. Listen, say hi to the family for me, Kathy, everyone, and your parents. And I wish you nothing but the best. Speedy recovery. Get back on the ice soon, and uh, good luck in the playoffs because I know you guys will be there. All right, thanks, Subes. Happy holidays, guys. All right, happy holidays. I I love the fact that it was his kids that uh, yeah. initiated that ice cream. Yeah. We'll get you caught up around the league when we come back on the.